with Kent State and Akron college football action. This one's for Wednesday. Akron favorite at home here in this one, minus four or so. And the total, 38 and a half. That's down from a high opener of, uh, well, we did see when we did the circa, when we did the opening line report show on Sunday, we reported that uh, we saw as high as 43 and a half. Also, I've seen as high as 44 and a half, but look what we're down to now here in this one with a total uh, at 38 and a half. Maybe we do need to correct it. Maybe the weather's peaked a little bit here uh, in Akron. And Akron is up to uh, four, four and a half point favorite at some spots. So we're also seeing a move to the favorite here with Akron. Wow. All right, in this one for the Zips at home, you figure they're coming in here with a, a 0 and 4 you know record in the MAC, but so is Kent State. This is a not a great matchup. Certainly, both these teams are pretty bad coming in one and seven. We'll talk about this one uh, maybe for too long here uh, as we get get into it. Uh, a little bit, but I don't know. Did see some steam come in early this morning on Akron that looked pretty interesting. Uh, I kind of would lend to, to tend to lead toward this move with Akron here. Uh, this is a bad matchup. Like I said, both teams terrible. Not much you can point to uh, necessarily. Kent State, they uh, their one win was against an FCS team. Other than that, they're zero and seven coming in and um they've been held under i don't know 250 yards in six of their seven games at kent state four and 12 against a spread their last 16 games a road dog who's gonna be a, i see support out there for kent state but i can't get into that Akron doesn't have much to show either they're minus eight in turnover ratio so far this season and that's always been Akron's bugaboo. They are always giving the ball away to the other team. This is an absolute uh, miserable game. Here's Ray. He'll bet it. <laughs> He's on Akron. And <laughs> we don't need to talk about this one uh, too much, I would think. So... I don't know, Akron, they've covered some spreads at, in conference with this coach. They're up to four. It doesn't feel very comfortable. Who wants to lay four points with a one and seven team? But I don't know. That's probably what I would do. Akron doesn't cover any numbers either. They've uh, 18 and 31 against the spread in their last 49 games overall. I mean, that's five seasons of play and uh, a really dismal record now Kent they've won three of the last four in the series and covered three of the last four of the series series is six and two to the under in the last eight meetings but man this total continues to go uh, low like this I don't know I would I would tend to think that uh, this one maybe could be a, an over just because I don't think a, a, again I'm sure there's some weather we saw last night all up uh, through those games through in Ohio, that in Toledo there was snow, in uh, the Central Michigan game there was uh, snow as well. So, oh, man, okay, but uh, you know that total looks low. That look, we were over we two and zero last night going over, and uh, I might just be willing to do it again here and go um, and go over, but. Let me take Akron. I'm going to go with the Zips and lay the points at home here uh, on the Maction Tuesday night. All right. That's all right. We don't want to uh, 